ready. So we are going to make sure that the magazine slide is in. Because if this isn't in, this guy will not open, which is like kind of good because if you have film in here, it might get exposed if you open it. The top, so I'm gonna click it open. See the magazine size there? You can actually take it out. But if it was out, then this would be your film and it would be getting exposed. I don't know if anyone would want that or not. So take this, twist this part off. And it comes right out. Okay, so loading the film. You want to make sure that the empty reel is on the other side. It fits right in. Oop. Now this is very important. You don't want to load the film like this, where this side runs over, your ex unexposed side runs over, because if you do load it like that, and people have, um, you will literally shoot your entire roll of film without exposing anything, which will be a waste. Um, so you wanna make sure that it's the opposite direction. Once you have it out like this, you want to make sure that it slides underneath here. So when you spin this over, there's a little piece right here that slides open. You want to make sure that your film is underneath that. And you'll know you're doing it right. Because like right here, there is, it's covering the film and you can actually see it. And then you'll find this slit right here, which your film goes right into, or not the film, I guess the, the protective paper, whatever it's called, and then you turn clockwise, so it's tight. You get that, it's in there. Now what you want to look for, you don't want to be looking here when you're winding it because it's pointless. Um, what you want to do is you want to look in the back because as you wind, this arrow here will line up to an arrow that you're gonna see on the film itself. So you just wind, wind, and there's the arrow, and they are lined up, and you're good to go. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't make a big deal, but I like to, like once I find that arrow, kind of get it in as tight as I can before I put it on, but I, I think that's just me being stupid. So then once you have the film rolled in, you put it back into the camera, and right now it's not clicking. That is because this roll holder key is not in the right position. So you wanna take it, open it, put it back in, twist it again, close it, and you're all set to go. I mean, you can wait till it's in the camera to do this, but you don't have to. Um, right here, it's gonna be blank. So what you wanna do is pull out this film winding crank and crank it. Okay, I'll show you like this way. You can see right there. You just wind the film winding crank and you're eventually gonna see a one and that's gonna obviously indicate that that is the first frame and that is that it is in place. Sometimes it takes a while. Here it goes, it's showing up. And once that one is smack in the middle, stop. Because you can overwind it. I've seen it with other cameras um, where people just keep winding and you're losing frames if you keep winding. So just take it, you turn it counterclockwise if, you're, if your camera has this piece, but there's a little slot right here. So if I turn it counterclockwise, I can pop it in there and I don't have to ever worry about it again. 
You take this, put it into the bottom where it belongs. You'll see the, the grooves there. And it clicks right into place. There was an issue I was having earlier where it wasn't going in and it wasn't popping into place. And if you ever run into that, um, the winding crank usually is the culprit. If it's not wound all the way, um, it'll just, the, the gears won't align and it'll stop you from being able to put it into the camera. So make sure that's wound all the way. And then um, essentially you're ready to shoot. This is a pretty solid camera. It definitely is an experience shooting this camera. It's very different than like um, a regular SLR where you look at it like this and your eye is in the back. No, it's like very much you have to open it up, look through the viewfinder, compose your shot, and take the picture. I mean, I'm not afraid to hit the shutter button because I haven't re uh, removed the magazine uh, slide, so it won't fire. But yeah, that is about it for loading film on this camera.